All right, let me talk about Louisiana. I lived there for about three years. And uh, let me give you my about top seven, maybe eight reason why you should live in Louisiana. Number one, it's a fun, fun state. You got a uh, Mardi Gras in every uh, February to March. That whole that, that whole month, I think it's February mostly. That whole month is all about Mardi Gras. Uh, right there, if you go down to uh, New Orleans, right there on Third Street or Bourbon, yeah, Bourbon Street, they do Mardi Gras like every year, and it goes on and on and on. This one city called uh, Natchitoches. It doesn't even spell like the way it, it should spell, but it's just it has a strange spelling, but is because it's French pronunciation. You would pronounce it Natchitoches. You have to look it up. It's about 45 minutes from uh, Leesville. All right, number two, it's hot and humid. You got one part is you got the heat from the sun, and then another one you got humidity. It's like walking inside of, a, of an oven. You know, you got the heat from the sun and then the heat, the water vapor will cook you alive. The hottest that it ever got to when I was at uh, Fort Polk, Louisiana, it's 120 degree. And when you walk, you will see your footprint on the pavement, on the uh, asphalt. And uh, when you walk, you, you could see it. And when I saw that, I go, wow, that's unbelievable. Uh, third reason, uh, this not really a, a term for Louisiana. There's no such thing as Louisianian. They either call a uh, Cajun, but if you want to be Pacific, they're called Arcadian because Arcadian came from a group of people in, in uh, Canada. And then they migrated down to uh, Louisiana and uh, that's where the name Arcadian come from. So you either call them Cajun or Arcadian. It's, it's the same, similar. Uh, fourth reason is Tabasco Island or Avery Island. If you go down there, go check it out at uh, Avery, Avery Island. That's what the Baskos are made, hot sauce. Best kept secret is in there. Uh, they make this other thing as well, so check it out, go there. I believe you have to pay a certain fee just to go there and do a, like a tourist guy. All right, five reason, they do sell uh, alligator meat there. Often when you go to uh, some kind of festival, they always sell uh, alligator meat on a stick with shrimp. And how the alligator meat tastes, it's just, it's a mixture of uh, shrimp plus scallop. That's all I can tell you. Because uh, it's hard to explain to people like what it tastes like and all that. It doesn't taste like chicken. It tastes like scallop plus uh, shrimp. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Uh, sixth reason, uh, no matter where you go, most of the uh, festival, there's either live music. And it's free admission. Most of them, most of the festival, it's all free. So when you go in, unlike any other state where you have to pay just to get in to the admission, in Louisiana, it's all free. Most of the festival is all free. If it's open to public, more likely it's free, free admission. But you want to buy food, that's on your own. You want to buy water and all that, that's on your own. But usually it's free admission. Uh, the favorite music. You would hear the regular American music, but but sometimes you would hear this music called, it's a group of music, it's called Zydeco. It, it has a funny sound to it. It sounds like jazz plus techno and then plus uh, French. Yeah, it's called Zydeco. You have to look it up to see what I mean. And then uh, seven reason, uh, Louisiana has the fourth, is ranking fourth in education which is higher than California, best in education. Cheap taxes, cheap tuition, cheap housing costs, cost of living, uh, less burden on you as a student, as anybody, as an employee or a resident that works there or lives there. And then the uh, last one I wanna mention is uh, Louisiana has the lowest cost of living. So you're talking about a, like a median home, you know, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, about uh, 1,500 square feet. You can get one less than uh, 75K. You cannot do that here in California. The average home here costs about a million bucks. 
yeah, three three bedrooms, two bathroom, and it's less than 1,200 square feet. Cost you about a million bucks. That is not a joke. That is serious. So, when I was stationed at Fort Polk, uh, the closest thing come to a, a mall is the uh, is Walmart. That's about it. Nothing else. There's nothing there but desolate. It's nothing but tree. Okay, you go anywhere on a freeway, all you see is like trees stick to one another, like 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 they line up in a row, in a column, and all you see is just tree, tree. And the reason for that is because that's the state, the part of the state. And then, um, but because of this, so many trees around, you're not required to have smog check. In Louisiana, it's just different than any other state. Uh, everywhere in Louisiana, except for one for one city, it's called Baton Rouge. You all, you are not required to have smog check. So even if you have a downpipe, you take out a Cadillac converter, you can just put a downpipe into it, you'll, you'll be perfectly fine. So just to recap is, everywhere else in Louisiana, there's no smog check required, other than Baton Rouge, the capital city of Louisiana. And then there's this thing called uh, Cajun time. When you see somebody driving real slow, and he has a loaded shotgun, which is fully, fully uh, legal, authorized in, in Louisiana. Uh, don't mess with that person, because it's more likely he or she is, is on like hunting ground or looking for an area to hunt. And then two, he or she is on Cajun time. So you leave that person alone. Usually that person will drive real slow, slower than the speed limit. Like let's say a freeway is 65, they go like 45 or 40. So leave that person alone. You just move over to the left and just go on your way and don't even bother with the person unless there's crime being committed then you would call the police. But it's what we call Cajun time. So if they're on Cajun time, leave them alone. Just mind your own business, go away. There's no crime committed. But if there's crime involved, then call the police, you know, do the right thing. And that's all I got to say for Louisiana.